I don't have to prove it. You all know that I've got chops, but there's a reason why I have chops. And that's because I drew a solid line between Claude Gordon, Harold Mitchell, Cat Anderson, Carmine Caruso, Roy Stevens, Maggio, and others, and I realized that they were all saying the same thing. You can hear about it in the beginning of Clark's. You can hear about it if you read the beginning of Arben's. It's there. However, everything is talked about in a little bit different way, in a different manner, and explained differently. Certainly in, in the beginning of uh, the Collins book is talked about. It's a way of forming your chops or your armature in such a position that it's going to take the air with the most efficient amount, the most efficient way, and it's going to respond in the most efficient way. And when you learn to do that and get that correct form, you can further study and further practice so that you will be building correct muscle memory in order to build those chops. So once the form has been identified, it's up to you. Spend as much time or as little time as you can on it, but obviously the more you spend, the more it's going to re yield results. Don't come to me and say, Larry, teach me the proper form, and then think that you're going to have it by uh, just osmosis. You've got to practice and work on it. Um, all the great teachers of the past did some, you know, had me working on uh, rudimental things. I mean, Slosbergs, uh, you know, Collins, Jeremy, uh, well, not Jeremy Irons, Earl Irons, uh, you know, those type of things. Dale Staggers, you know, you know, the things that all the great trumpet players have worked on. There are no shortcuts, but what I can do for you is give you the proper form to build on. It's easy once you learn it, and you can build and strengthen upon the correct form. Okay, real quick. Why does Larry wear a baseball hat in so many of his videos? Because I have lots of bad hair days. <laughs>